just maybe not but i actually have no idea if we'll fit a card maybe not i mean if it doesn't even fit a card then it's definitely not worth it i mean in terms of practicality adorable and then there's gonna be this like amazing looking key clay in what seems to be damier azure hey guys welcome to my channel i'm jess i just ate my dinner and i ate some christmas cake because i'm really hungry i just did pilates and i don't know i was sitting at the computer and i was thinking i really want to film this video so i just thought why not film it right here right now smack some lipstick on my face i probably have lipstick on my teeth but let's just talk about guys these sneak peeks from foxy lv i noticed this morning these heart-shaped bags on her instagram and guys I immediately thought about the Chanel heart shaped bags, especially this pink one. It is called the dragon fruit color and this definitely is a similar shade of pink to the heart shaped bag we saw, um, you know, uh, this year from Chanel. It was super hyped. The problem with the Chanel heart shaped bag is that it did have a few quality issues such as the chain falling off and unscrewing and you know a few um, influencers had this um, experience where they they were wearing their bag and it you know it broke the chain and some of them even lost the screw um, like Claire Banks I think she lost her screw and Exaki Saki her chain broke and she screwed it back on herself so yeah the Chanel ones were honestly really cute but um they're rather expensive as well because it's chanel and they came in purple there was a blue the pinkish color there was the black i think there was a white one as well and you know when i saw these uh, louis vuitton heart shaped bags i they definitely reminded me of the chanel ones just because of the 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 puffy quilted kind of nature of them and the colors now louis vuitton honestly was first to do the heart shape well to be honest, Chanel did the heart-shaped bags in the 90s, and, you know, we've seen a few brands do heart-shaped bags from the past few years. Like, Louis Vuitton had their Game On collection one, which I was obsessed with, I really wanted, and I pre-ordered it, and then my order got cancelled because I wasn't a VIP, and I think it was only offered to, like, VIP people in Australia. Then they did the heart shape again with the Fall in Love collection, which was also so amazing, but I think it was, like, a China exclusive, so very hard to get in Australia but they also had these like micro um kind of heart bags with like shimmer and then there was like another shimmery one and you know Louis Vuitton have also done uh a heart shaped bags in the past in like that puffy quilted style what is it called um love what is that collection anyway I'll put a picture up there of what I'm talking about but they have done like lots of heart shaped bags now come to think of it and this one it's very Chanel-esque to me but I think it is, like, in terms of design, it's actually more usable because it's got a detachable strap, so it's not going to fall off like the Chanel one, and it has this adorable top handle. Um, I actually like how subtle the LV logo is on it as well, and it's just, like, softly um, stitched into the bag, and, um, oh my god, guys, like, I just feel like it's so adorable, actually, now looking at it. Um, so this pink colour is called Dragon Fruit, but it's also going to come in in this adorable lilac color which is giving me like Polly Pocket like I just love this color it is so adorable such a soft shade of like lilac-y blue just to let you know this is going to be 2050 USD so let's do the conversion 2050 USD to AUD is 3000 Australian dollars ish so it's a lot for a, a little heart-shaped bag, which is 5.5 times 2.2 times 5.1 inches. So 5.5 is about 13 centimeters. So that is about from here to here, that big. So this big, as big as my face, about that big. Um, if we compare it to my Chanel micro bag, um, this is a Chanel micro bag. So it is it is smaller than it's like about to to this area here the 60 it's smaller than the micro bag so it's a no from me because i can I, I hardly use this guys it doesn't fit anything and i know these little louis vuitton hearts they are adorable but this is not gonna fit a phone nowhere i mean maybe the, it will fit the flip phone i don't think so though these are like queen purse bags so it will fit airpods you're lucky to fit a card in here. Like, I'm, I'm going to assume it can at least fit a card. 
Oh, uh, it, it should. Maybe just, maybe not. But I actually have no idea if it will fit a card. Maybe not. I mean, if it doesn't even fit a card, then it's definitely not worth it. I mean, in terms of practicality, in terms of looks, it's adorable. Um, but yeah, so far we've only seen these colours. And then I also found another leak. Basically, uh, there is going to be these painted uh, mini pochettes in blue and pastel yellow vernis. And the zipper pull is going to feature a heart as well. Adorable. And then there's going to be this, like, amazing looking key clay in what seems to be Damier Azure. I'm thinking this is Dam the Damier Azure and then you open it and it's like Lisa Frank wallpaper inside. Like, I don't know, it's not actually Lisa Frank, but like if you zoom in on it, it's got all these like micro little hearts and like cutie colors. It's adorable. So this is a four key holder. Guys, how cute is that? Like, and then there's that. And then there's also these really pretty colours of blue and, like, green in the SLGs and Damier Azure. So I did hear that, um, actually, Jane Church told me that they're going to be releasing a lot of Damier Azure pieces uh, next year. So I wonder if it's part of this collection, because I know in that collection they're also going to perhaps have, um, you know, maybe some other classic bags as well, maybe, like, I don't know, an Alma BB. I'm just guessing, guys. I actually don't know. Maybe they'll have... Imagine if they had a Palm Springs Mini in Damier Azure. That would be kind of cool. Or, like, a Speedy Nano in Damier Azure. That would also be adorable with, like, a Love Heart Super Pool. This is a super girly collection, guys. But, honestly, Damier Azure is very girly. I feel it's not so classic it's a little bit more like modern cutesy so i feel like with this pastel hearts vibe it definitely works um but to be honest guys i'm most intrigued by this key clay like what is going on with the inside here like i've never seen anything like this before i thought it was like a barbie collaboration but it's not or lisa frank but I don't think it is, um, but that's all the leaks I have from this collection so far. Um, let me know what you think of it, guys, because, um, well, to be honest, I think it's cute, but it's, I mean, I'm not going to personally buy it myself, the heart bag, because I feel like, I don't know, you got to think of something new, guys. Like, seriously, like, we've done the heart bag, like, how many times now? Like, it's just, we're kind of bored. We've got to see something fresh and new. This is just, like, another churned out idea that we've already seen. And although this one is actually, I feel like, more functional than the Chanel one because it has a detachable strap and a top handle, um, I still think that, like, the size of it is very impractical. So, eh, I mean, unless you're obsessed with heart-shaped bags and you want to collect them all, maybe get this. But I, I, I honestly think... If you ask me, I think it will be a sellout, like the heart-shaped bag here. Like, this looks like a hype item, and if you're into it, I would hop on it. I'd uh, contact your client advisor, because I do think it will be popular. Uh, and also, I think that key clay is going to be popular, because that, that is, like, a really cute little surprise inside. Um, yeah, anyways, thanks for listening to my spontaneous video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you on my next one. Bye!